Um, so, so yeah, uh, my first question was, um, so what was the thought process behind doing the anniversary tour before for 24-hour party people? Well, because it's been 30 years since the making of that tune, so um, it was, we've been doing um, a lot of great and tip tours, celebrating uh, 25 years of Pills and Trills, 25 years of Bummed, so um, it, just, it was just obvious to do it 30 years since 24 hour party people, yeah. uh, because there's a, lot, there's a lot of songs that we've not done for ages that people want to hear, so hopefully uh, some of the older ones, older tunes, and some of the ones maybe from Yes Please, some different songs should be on the next tour, but yeah, we didn't do a tour last year, so um, yeah, it's, it's just made sense to do one people were saying why didn't we tour last year so he said don't worry we've got something going up for the uh, 30th anniversary of 24 hour so that's what it is ah uh, right yeah that was going to ask you actually what was the uh, was it a struggle kind of putting together um a set of greatest hits no it's obvious to us because it's a really big uh, catalogue so um no it's just some tunes work better than others live and i think when you've been together for so long we do know which ones work live best um mm. people have certain favorites which we'll always try out new songs you know, Paul Ryder might have a favourite that doesn't always work that Sean doesn't like. Sean yeah. doesn't like singing a couple of the songs that the audience is really like, so we have to persuade him sometimes. But, um, yeah, no, it's um, it's just, whatever really, we know we know what works now. Um, we've got, as I say, a lot of really good back catalogue. So, um, yeah, the, there's some tunes you just can't leave out, and um, there's about an hour's worth of those that you just can't leave out. And then um, anything else, if it takes a bit longer than um, other songs are added. So how long are you guys playing for on the tour? I have no idea. We've not done, the tour's not till November, so we don't start rehearsals now until, I would say, mid-October. Uh, so I, won't, yeah, I, won't, I was going to ask know. you if rehearsals have already started. No, we've just done a gig in Jersey, and we do one in Cornwall on the 1st of October. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, we don't start new tours until the festival season's over, and it's not over yet, almost. Right. It, when you're rehearsing, is it quite intense to kind of get back together, or is it is it easy to kind of slot back in? No, it's really easy, because we, we don't really stop gigging, because we do the festivals all summer, and then we do one-off shows. It's just then um, we've, we've not done a tour, but we've, we've known each other for 30 years or more. more. So um, it's really, really easy. It's enjoyable. It's like being with your family. Um, and we just enjoy it. We play really well together. And everyone's better than they used to be. And there's no <laughs> other problems that they used to be. So, you know, there's no distractions. We just get there, rehearse, and go home. And um, buzzing because the music's good. And you should come up with new ideas, which is great now because you can go home on your computer and work out new ideas. I can sing a new vocal here and send it to the lads. Mm. And they can have it tomorrow in rehearsal. Yeah. So that's what we do, really. I, I just like to come up with new ideas to the old songs. Yeah. Um, and that's what everybody does. So it's um, you know, just it's really great at the moment. We're having a great time, and it, it, it sort of feels new in a way because we're trying to freshen up everything, all the old songs, and um, I'm really enjoying it. Ah, oh, good. And um, what are some of the differences between being with the Mondays now and being with the Mondays 25, 30 years ago? Well, everybody's a lot older, but um, also there's no addiction anymore. There used to be a real problem with people being addicted to different things, mm. and that's gone now. Um, so. Everybody's more into getting over to the, to the families. Um, it's not like, let's go and get some of this and that and the other and go and party. It's literally yeah. go home. Sean goes home after most shows to his children. Um, he's got two little girls. He goes home to the, the children. He doesn't come till just before the gig and leaves straight after. So he's completely different. Bez doesn't do anything other than a couple of whiskeys. Um, <laughs> so he's a different person. Usually, you know, he just wants to get off and go home. Yeah. It's, um, it's not like it used to be, but it's a lot easier. And um, we enjoy it more. We remember the gigs. Um, everyone performs better and there's no argument so it's great oh good good um have you got any plans for recording or releasing new music with the band yeah hopefully alan mcgee would like us to make an album probably next year um so uh, black great is one this year because it's too, very difficult with us because one lives in la one lives in canada i'm always away with the doing the house tunes and house the ender so trying to get the whole band is more of us it's, it's a lot more difficult than doing probably black great but alan mcgee is our manager and he wants us to make an album the next year, possibly the year after, but, it, but there should be something out in 2019 if his plan comes to fruition, which I hope it does. That's exciting. Yeah, because we did one tune in Panama, and um, it wasn't like typical Mondays because we wrote it with a tribe, mm. but um, we know now that we can still work together really well and write together, so it's um, exciting for the future, I'm really looking forward to it, it'd be great, at least to give it a go anyway, you know, like to give a go making new music, because um, everyone's got so many new ideas now, everyone's worked with lots of different people, I've not stopped working with other people, so you're going to bring that to the table when you come back with the Mondays. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what about you personally, what are you doing at the moment music-wise? 
Well, I, I tour as well with Hacienda Classical with Peter Hook. A lot of people know I sing with Peter Hook and the light as well. Um, but I sing Hacienda Classical, dance tunes with an orchestra and a gospel choir. And me, I sing at the end. Um, I sing in the encore, You've Got the Love and Where well, Love Lives. And then um, hopefully doing, that's been going now for two years and we sell out places like the Royal Albert Hall. So it's just been amazing. Um, yeah. We play there in Brighton um, at the weekend. But um, yeah, and I, I travel the world doing house tunes. You know, at the moment I'm number three in the Beatport charts with one of my tunes, a dance tune yeah. called B. So um, that's got a lot of American producers wanting to work with me. So I'm really, really chuffed um, with the dance tunes. I, I do probably better than I do with anything. And um, <laughs> it's great. But you can walk around anonymously with that. And it's, it's just great that people just um, like my voice. And, yeah, it's, you know, it's, um, it's great to be able to earn a living that way without yeah. um, necessarily having all the horrible bits of fame with it. It's, um, it's great. And to recognize through your voice around the world is fantastic. Um, so yeah, so that and how to end the classical keep me really busy with my house tunes and the classical. Um, and I love writing my new producers, so um, every day I, I'm getting sent stuff and I have to go through listening to that. Some of it's awful, but um, so you get um, you get the odd diamond in the rough. Yeah, do you, do you feel like that's uh, that's something that you enjoy doing more than the Happy Mondays? No, because I love performing live. It's my best and my favourite thing in the world. I like writing, but I love singing the stuff that you've written. But um, no, performing on a stage with anybody, whether it's Happy Mondays or not, um, I, I don't mind. I do. I travel because I, I, you know, I get to sing in places like New York and the Beatles when I'm on my own or with a DJ. Mm. So I get some really. I just, I, I'm really lucky to be able to do it all. With Happy and the Classical, I sing with an orchestra. With Happy Mondays, I sing with one of my favourite bands. You know, and on my own and, and like in the spotlight and singing on the beach, used by a beach. So um, I think each one I enjoy, but I love being on the stage more than yeah. being in the studio because. I have my studio now at home, so it's literally, I get out of bed, I've got a microphone by the side of the bed, and I record ideas, so obviously it's more enjoyable to be on the stage yeah. and get that buzz, because it's the best buzz in the world. Uh, and, and what are the crowd, uh, what are the Happy Mondays crowd like nowadays? Same as it always was, really. Um, you get are, a lot of older people that were there. Older? You get the older people that were there back in the day, but to be honest, our audience were always very mixed anyway. You, with the first gig I went to of Happy Mondays, there were a lot of people, like I remember Sean Dodd and his mates, they were all there, and there was loads of kids there. Mm. So it's always been loads of ages. Um, and there's a lot of people who've, who've said that their mums and dads have, have brought them, or their older brother who got them into the Mondays. So there's a lot of younger ones and the older ones. So to me, it doesn't really, you don't really notice that much difference. It's just a lot of, because you've just got a lot of the, like 20 year olds really dancing, as well as the 50 year olds. Yeah. Um, I read something um, recently about Sean saying that uh, he almost considered himself as a rapper when he first started off and that no one was doing that kind of thing. How do you think, no idea. Happy, how do you think the Happy Mondays kind of influenced that sound of the early 90s? I don't know. I don't know. That's what Sean said. I don't know. I can't quote what Sean said. I, I liked him. I loved his lyrics and I loved... Um, I love the music and I love the guitars and stuff. Yeah. So um, and it's imp- it's definitely influenced a lot of a lot of bands. And when that Manchester scene was huge, uh, when I wanted to join the Mondays, they were more of a cult band. that was into punk. Um, and I know what he means. He was more of a talky singer. Yeah. But um, but there was you know these, these, uh, there was a group called Canu. The bass players just passed away. And um, they were a big influence on the Mondays. So there were people doing it. Um, but um, yeah, it's um. Uh, I just, I just loved all that, um, the lyrics of the Mondays and it being Mancunian really appealed to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you talked about some of the things that you really enjoy about touring. What's the worst thing about touring? I love just missing home. You know, I have dogs. When I was, when I was younger, I had young children at home. You just miss home. That's it, really. I miss Manchester. But um, yeah, we, we never really do too... The tours aren't that long, but apart from this one, which is two months, and where it's like four days on probably just a couple of days off. This is going to be quite tough. Yeah. But I haven't got young children. I just really do miss my dog, to be honest. Kim um, is a dog talk- person. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can, talk to, you can talk to everybody else on the phone and you can do FaceTime with the dogs, but it's not the same. I like touching them and everything, giving them a stroke, a cuddle. But um, yeah, other than that, I love, I just, I love traveling. I'm always away anyway. So, um, yeah. But yeah, that's the only thing, just missing home and not being able to get back. And, yeah, but as long as the tours don't get... This is the longest one we'll have done for a long time, so this will be a big test. Yeah. Before that, it was only we did America for six weeks, I think in 1991, and that was I had young children at school, so that was hard. But um, a lot easier now. The kids are older. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, do you plan on continuing touring and gigging with the Mondays then? Yeah, yeah. Just as I said, we're probably doing an album in a year or two. So yeah. 
Brilliant. Yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not leaving the Mondays, and the, unless the Mondays split up, and then you can't do anything, so we'll see after the tour, but yeah, no, the thing is, we just have to try and fit it in with everything else we're doing, we're all, we've all got different projects going on, um, I am really, really busy, I'm one of the busiest members probably, but it, um, because I'm doing loads of different projects, but I have no intention of leaving the Mondays, I do try and put the Mondays first, Yeah. You know, and, and I always say, I always say to them, have, have we got any Monday dates coming up so they can tell other people, I mean, I'm having to miss out the end of classical show in November because I'm on tour with the Mondays because the Mondays really does come first because they can't do it without me basically so yeah Good. It must be nice to be able to fit in and slot in and come in and out of it and carry on with your own stuff as well. Yeah, because it makes you really enjoy the Mondays more or whatever else I'm doing more. Mm. You know, so I'm doing a gig at the house, um, sorry, house and the Classical in Brighton on Sunday and then I'm going straight, or Saturday it is, then I'm going straight to New York and do a solo gig. Um, you know, and then when, it, when you come back, it's like, I'll be ready to do a Mondays gig. And then I do the house and the Classical again, then the Mondays again. And you just end up going, I just, it just makes you enjoy everything else, you know. Brilliant. You must be really exhausted. I'm very lucky. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so just to wrap up, um, yep. what's your... Do you have, like, a favourite Monday, a uh, favourite memory or a favourite story about being with the Happy Mondays? I've got loads. I've, I've been with them for a long, long time. I don't have a favourite one, no. I really don't. I can't, I can't do stories on the Mondays because it takes too long. And but I'm so, I just don't, I don't go, oh, I've got this story. I'm not really that sort of person. Obviously, I've got loads because I've been with them for so long. But it's all a ride, all a joy. I've enjoyed all of it. I'm sure. Um, thank you ever so much for talking to us. You're We're welcome. We're going to come and see you, um, I think, in Nottingham. Th- Is it Rock City? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. That's where we're, I think we're coming to Rock City to right. see you. So, All right, I'll see you there then. Yeah, we're I really love that venue. Forward.